Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start working on the Lead Code 75 study plan which covers the data structures and algorithms necessary to succeed in interviews with the most mid-tier companies according to Lead Code of course. Alright, so the first exercise is the number 1480 aka running sum of 1D array. So without further ado, guys, let's move to the board. So here we are, number 1480, running sum of 1D array. So the question states, given an array of nums, we define a running sum of an array as running sum of phi is equal to the sum between nums of 0 to nums of phi. Okay, that, that makes sense. And we need to return the running sum of nums. And there are two constraints which are super important. If we go to the lead code website and go to the end, so that means that nums will always contain at least one element, and uh, we've got only integers. Sweet. Let's start the test case. So here we are. We've got the test case here, guys. Uh, the input is that array of nums and we need to create the output of that algorithm. And I'm gonna say that we just need an accumulator and we need to reshape that array. And by reshape, we need to actually create a new array, which is going to be equal to one comma one plus two, because if you see, we have an accumulator here and we have a running sum, and the third element is going to be 1 plus 2, which is equal to that element, plus the element of index 2 of the nums array, which is the number 3. And of course, as you can imagine, the last element is going to be the previous element plus the element of index 3. Sweet. And this, this is exactly what we need to create. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the lead code website and uh, create a sum variable. And I'm going to play with a reduce method from the built-in JavaScript methods and I'm going to return the array directly. Of course, you can use for each uh, or a map and it's going to do the same thing. I like the reduce because we can play with accumulator, so I follow reduce. And here we're going to have the sum aka the accumulator. And sorry, that's going to be the running sum, which is going to be the accumulator. And here we're going to have our element. And we need to uh, initialize the running sum as, as an empty array. And inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say running sum dot push number, sorry, element plus sum. In the first iteration, uh, the sum is going to be zero because we have defined it outside of the reduce. However, in the following iterations, what we need to do is to increase the sum variable by the element. And uh, because we have a reduce method, we need to return the running sum here. All right, let's try that out, run it. Sweet, and if we submit this code. All right, it looks good to me. Success, success. Sweet, that's all for today, guys. I'm going to move ahead and continue the day one of the Lead Code 75 study plan. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go and click the button. Cheers, catch you in the next one.